वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू मेमरी इंटरफेसिंग विद एट जीरो फाइव वन माइक्रो कंट्रोलर माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स देर आर टू वेरी एसेंशियल थिंग्स दैट यू मस्ट नो विदाउट दैट यू कैनॉट इवन इंटरफेस मेमरी विद एट जीरो फाइव वन लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू बोथ ऑफ दिस थिंग्स फर्स्ट इज एट जीरो फाइव वन इज देर बेस्ड ऑन हावर्ड आर्किटेक्चर सो यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज हावर्ड आर्किटेक्चर सी इन हावर्ड आर्किटेक्चर वी हैव टू सेपरेट मेमरीज प्रोग्राम मेमरी एंड डेटा मेमरी प्रोग्राम मेमरी दैट इज देर विद रॉम डेटा मेमरी दैट इज देर विद रैम सो विद एट जीरो फाइव वन इन प्रोग्राम मेमरी विद रॉम मेमरी वी प्रोवाइड मेमरी रीड विद पी एस ई एन बार कंट्रोल सिग्नल विथ डेटा मेमरी विथ रैम मेमरी वी हैव टू सेपरेट कंट्रोल सिग्नल फॉर रीड एंड राइट दो आर रीड बार एंड राइट बार सो विथ एट जीरो फाइव वन वेन यू इंटरफेस रॉम इट विल बी देर फॉर प्रोग्राम वेन यू इंटरफेस रैम इट विल बी देर फॉर डेटा विथ रॉम कंट्रोल सिग्नल विल बी पी एस ई एन बार विथ रैम कंट्रोल सिग्नल विल बी रीड बार एंड राइट बार दिस इज वन थिंग दैट यू मस्ट नो नाउ सेकेंड इज एट जीरो फाइव वन इज माइक्रो कंट्रोलर चिप इन एट जीरो फाइव वन यू हैव फोर के बी ऑफ इंटरनल रॉम सो वैन यू इंटरफेस एक्सटर्नल मेमरी एट दैट टाइम यू नीड टू सी वॉट इज द एड्रेस ऑफ इंटरनल रॉम वैन यू यूज इंटरनल रॉम एंड वैन यू इंटरफेस एक्सटर्नल रॉम एट द टाइम बोथ मेमरीज शुड नॉट हैव सेम एड्रेस हियर either if you have same address then you will have to discard any out of this two so what i want is you should not discard any out of this two you can provide separate address one address is there for internal rom and separate address for external rom so you should know what is address of internal rom internal rom is having address from 0000 hex to 0 ffff hex so you should not use this address when you interface external rom and then ea bar that you need to connect it with vcc so that is what you need to take care of i'll explain you everything in great detail so that you can have exact understanding regarding how exactly we can interface memory with 8051 let us see all those things step by step so let us see first how problem statement is given so here we are deal with to design system of 8051 in which we need to provide clock of 12 megahertz and we need to interface 4 kb of ep rom with the chip of 2 kb of ep rom and we need to have 8 kb of ram using chips of 4 kb of ram so here my dear students when you interface memory there are four different categories of lines that you should know and that is how we interface memory first is address lines second is data lines third is control lines and fourth is chip select i'll explain you calculation of all four lines so that you can have exact idea about how we can interface memory let us see how 4 kb of ep rom that we can have by having 2 kb of ep rom chips so to have 4 kb of ep rom you need to have two chips of 2 kb of ep rom two chips will make it to 4 kb so now let us calculate how many address lines are there in 2 kb of ep rom so when you want to calculate address lines my dear students you need to understand what is 2k 2k means what 2 means 2 to the power 1 k means 2 to the power 10 in short 2 to the power 11 means here we have 11 address lines when you want to calculate data lines then you'll have to see here it is mentioned it is kb b means byte so in short you have eight data lines for byte here for rom you just need to read data so you need to have memory read signal with 8051 for rom we have psen bar that is used to read data from program memory and program memory is always rom memory now i'll explain you 8 kb of ram using 4 kb of ram so how many chips that you need to have obviously two chips you need to have 
let us calculate how many address lines are there so you need to understand what is 4k 4 means 2 to the power 2 k means 2 to the power 10 in short 2 to the power 12 means 12 address lines are there with 4 kb of ram chip and here b is there means byte is there so you can say data lines are 8 and with ram when you talk about control signals then you need to read and write the memory for that 8051 provides read bar and write bar control signals so now we are having idea about address lines data lines control lines but to understand chip select you need to understand memory mapping so here now i'll explain you memory mapping so first of all you will have to write memory mapping as i have mentioned over here you see 8051 that is having 16 address lines a0 to a15 right here my dear students first of all you just note down how many memories are there so you see i'm having two chips of epirom so epirom 1 epirom 2 of size of 2 kb that i have mentioned here and then i'm having two chips of 4 kb of ram so ram 1 and ram 2 with size of 4 kb that i have mentioned over here 8051 is having address lines starting from a0 to a15 and as i have told you 8051 that is having internal rom of size of 4 kb so that address that is there from 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex to 0 ffff hex that we should not use so when you interface eprom i'll skip that address which is there inside rom of 8051 so my address of eprom1 that will be starting from 100 hex which is not there in the range of 000 hex to 0 fff hex so eprom1 starting address that will be 100 hex in binary it is mentioned here you see 0001 means 1 and then all are zeros means 000 hex now we need to find ending address of eprom1 so you see here how many address lines are there 11 so a0 to a10 that should be having transition from all zeros to all ones so you see i have calculated ending address so ending address is 0001 means 1 then 0001 means 7 and then all ones are there means ff now i need to have starting address of epirom2 so that should be next address after this so you see here all are 1 so when you have 1 over here then here there will be 0 that will be next address so you see starting address of epirom2 that has to be 0001 means 1 then 1000 means 8 and then all are 0 means 00, 00 hex and epirom2 that is having size of 2 kb so here a0 to a10 means 11 address lines that will be changing from all zeros to all ones so you see now i'm changing those from all zeros to all ones that is my ending address of epirom2 so you see that is 0001 means 1 then all are 0 means fff hex that is how starting and ending address that we can calculate here my dear students when we talk about ram addressing then here you don't need to worry about overlapping why the reason is ram is used for data and rom is used for program so you can have separate addressing of ram compared to rom but in rom you cannot have overlapping with each other right in ram also we cannot have overlapping with each other inside ram so what i'll do is i'll start ram address from all zeros so that is 0000, 0000, 0000, 0000 hex now ram 1 that is having size of 4 kb 4 kb is having how many address lines 12 address lines so a0 to a11 that will change from all 0 to all 1 you see so ending address that will be 0 fff hex now when you talk about ram 2 the next address will be it is having one over here and all zeros so you see here one then all zero means one triple zero hex ram of 4 kb that is having address lines that is changing from a0 to a11 so you see now this zeros that will be having transition to one to ending address with ram 2 so you see triple zero one and then a0 to a11 that i have provided with all ones right that is how transition that i have done to have ending address so that is 
one and then f f f hex so that is how we can identify address range right now how to identify chip select so to identify chip select my dear students you will have to see unused lines so you see with ep rom 1 and ep rom 2 if you observe 11 address lines are used that is a0 to a10 so a11 to a15 that is not used so that we can use it for chip select and if you see RAM 1 and RAM 2 that is having addresses that is there as per 12 address lines means A0 to A11. So I cannot use that for chip select. I can use A12 to A15 for chip select. Right. Now in this we can use single line as well which differentiate memory. And if you want full decoding then you will have to use all the lines. Here I will provide partial decoding. So if you observe EPROM1 that is having A11 that is 0 but EPROM2 that is having A11 that is 1. So by sim simply using A11 I can separate chip select of EPROM1 and EPROM2 and to separate RAM1 and RAM2 you see A12 that is 0 for RAM1 and A12 that is 1 for RAM2. So by using this single line I can provide chip select of RAM1 and RAM2. Now I'll explain you how to interface. So here I'm having microcontroller 8051 which is operating at 12 megahertz. So with XLED1 and XLED2 two terminals, I'll be connecting crystal clock of 12 megahertz. Here my dear students, you should understand how address and data lines are there. So first of all, you'll have to separate address and data lines. So port 2 that is having A8 to A15 address lines and here port 0 that is having AD0 to AD7 address data time multiplex lines. So we need to separate address and data. So A0 to A7 that you can have by having latch. So latch is having strop terminal that is connected with ALE and this ALE that will be latching address over here. And here directly we can have data that is D0 to D7. So now you are having address data separately. And now microcontroller that is providing PSTN bar signal that is memory read signal for ROM and read bar and write bar that is used for read and write operation with RAM. These are my control signals. And one more essential thing that you need to note down that is EA bar. EA bar that should be connected with VCC. Why the reason is? As if you connect this with VCC, then internal ROM of 4KB that is available with programmer. If you connect this with ground, then internal ROM will not be available. Now I'll show you how we have EPROM1, EPROM2 that is been interfaced. So you see EPROM1, EPROM2 that is having size of 2KB and here as per 2KB A0 to A11 that we use it for address. And here we are deal with to read only. So data direction that is coming out from this EPROM1 and EPROM2 that is D0 to D7. Here my dear students this OE bar that should be connected with PSTN bar with ROM. So you see PSTN bar that I have connected here that indicates how exactly we are reading data with respect to this signal. Chip select that we use it with A11 only in which A11 that is directly connected with EPROM1 and it is connected after inversion with EPROM2. You can observe it over here. So this is how my dear students we can have interfacing with EPROM. Now I'll explain you how we can have interfacing with RAM. So RAM1 and RAM2 that we have over here you see in that size is 4KB. So when you interface address that should be A0 to A11. And when you interface data, it is bidirectional, you see D0 to D7. Here read bar and write bar that is provided by 8051 as per read bar and write bar control signal which are over here. So you see that I am just connecting over here to have read and write operation. And here chip select that is happening as per 812 signal which I have explained you in memory mapping. So you see 812 directly connected here and after inversion you are connecting it over here. So partial decoding that I have done 
and this is how we can select this chips and this is all about memory interfacing with 8051. So I think now you are having fair enough idea about how memory interfacing is there. Still, if any confusion is there, just post that in the comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.